Hey everyone, welcome to the next video in the series for 5 minutes or less. This is going to be the first chemistry video, so parts of an atom in 5 minutes or less. Here we go. We're going to start with matter. Matter makes up everything in the universe, so every object. It has to have mass and take up space. And I bet you can't think of any object that doesn't have those two things. Matter can exist as a solid, liquid, or a gas. So, what is matter? Inside of all matter are these things called atoms. And atoms make up the matter. They look like this. Now, this is not very accurate of a real atom, but it does the job for what we need for today. So there's three particles in an atom, and that's what we're going to sort of learn about today. Inside of the atom, there's a nucleus, which is in the center. This is going to contain our neutrons, which is the first particle, and the protons, which is the second particle. Neutrons have no electrical charge, zero. Protons have a positive electrical charge. Now, flying around the atom is going to be these electrons. Now, the electrons are really, really tiny particles, and they have a negative charge. So, if we go down here, if a proton, which is positive, comes near an electron, which is negative, these two have opposite charges, so they are actually going to attract to each other, like a magnet. If you have an electron that goes near another electron like this, those are going to repel away from each other, meaning they'll bounce away from each other. And then, same with two protons, they're also going to repel. So if the charge is opposite, they're going to attract, and if it's the same, they're going to repel. If there's a neutron involved, they have no electrical charge, so they're not going to attract or repel. Alright, so if we draw a quick little sketch of an atom here, we're going to have our nucleus. We could say nucleus, like that. And then inside is going to be our protons. And then our neutrons, which have no charge, so I'll just put them like that. They're pretty much the same size, the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus. They weigh a good amount. Now, around the outside is going to be our electrons that are flying around. So, we're going to draw these pathways like this. And we're going to put an electron here. Negative charge. And we'll draw a couple of them. Now, electrons are really tiny, so the protons and the neutrons are way bigger than the electron. Now, these lines that I drew, these circles, these are the pathways that the electron's flying around. So, they have different names. They can be called electron shell, they can be called an orbital, or they can be called an energy level. They all mean the same thing. It's the pathway that the electron flies around. So this is our electron. And we got our proton right here. And our neutron over there. Alright, so that's the basics. The three particles in an atom and what matter is. So I'll see you on the next chemistry video. Thanks, bye.